Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. Got in front of me the HTC One M8, although this is the Google Play Edition version. So we wanted to show this to you again after all these months because it's running Android 5.0.1 Lollipop. So it's one of the few devices on the planet, or phones I should say, running Android 5.0. But it's also, I think, the only phone currently running 5.0.1. While there's not any new features in 5.0.1 over just 5.0, we thought we'd show it to you anyway. So what you get here, Google Play Edition, which you guys probably know, is a sort of Nexus-like uh, pure Android, stock Android experience. And then there's some of the HTC One M8's features thrown in, like you have motion launch gestures on your lock screen. It does have some of the camera stuff. And then, of course, you have boom sound. So, uh, you know, just like we did with the Moto X Pure Edition, we wanted to show you a little bit of what Lollipop looks like on the One M8. Uh, again, the Google Play Edition, the Sense version, the normal One M8 is going to look a whole lot different. But uh, this is what Lollipop looks like here on the GPE. So lock screen, swipe over to get into phone, swipe over this way to get into camera. Can, uh, swipe down to see all of your notifications um, and then obviously we can swipe up to unlock that uh, once you're in here though you have Google Now launcher so you do have uh, Google Now just over to the left panel you have additional panels assuming you add stuff to those you guys have seen how that works you also have the white background in the app drawer and then of course down at the bottom you do have your newly skinned uh, on-screen buttons that sort of look like PlayStation buttons um, you do have OK Google, hot word detection throughout. However, that's sort of a Google search feature at this point. Uh, we can swipe down the notification area though. So you've still got, again, this sort of notification style. Swipe all the way down to get to your quick toggles, which you guys are all familiar with now. There's nothing new in there that I've noticed uh, just yet. You do have adaptive display instead of auto display. So that's definitely seems to be a lollipop feature. You have a battery shortcut, setting shortcut multiple profile shortcut, which of course includes multiple profiles and guests and things like that. If we jump into settings, you'll notice the settings panel is definitely the new Lollipop version. So again, it's just a stock version of Android, but it's just running on um, the uh, on a uh, on somebody else's hardware, not Google's um, and just given the Google Play Edition tag. So there's your Lollipop uh, Easter egg with the flappy bug droid. And I didn't really show you a good shot of that, but there it is, 5.0.1. So you can see that running in there. Um, should also point out that we have the new app switcher. So it's got that card style app switcher. So you can flip between that, swipe things away if you want, um, or tap into things. Uh, also, since it's running Android 5.0, when you're in Chrome, you can have it set up to have your Chrome tabs show up individually in the app switcher. I'm not, a pers not personally a fan of that, but that is an option. Uh, if we jump back into those settings though, scroll down to display, you notice in there adaptive brightness. Now we don't have ambient display, so ambient displays on the Nexus 6, also on the Moto X Pure Edition, those are AMOLED displays. They're able to light up sort of a black and white version basically of your lock screen. And uh, this being an LCD, I do not believe it can do that, so you'll notice there is no ambient display uh, option in here. Um, sound and notification, you will notice boom sound there so it's grayed out right now because you can't turn boom sound off when you don't have headphones in boom sound is the dual speaker experience which is uh unmatched by almost any other phone at this point HTC is still doing external speakers on phones the best uh, if you plugged in headphones into the bottom jack you could toggle that on and off uh, but you'll notice um, you do have notification controls now which are something new in lollipop um, there was something else I did want to show you. Oh, you do have HTC's weather service built in. And then here are your motion launch gestures. So those are back. So double tap to wake, swipe to unlock, and then volume button to jump into the camera. So those are there, which is awesome. Those are one of the best features um, of the HTC One M8 and the Google Play Edition. Uh, but, you know, so you've got the rest of this stuff that's basically what you'd expect in Lollipop. We've showed you guys this a number of times. Uh, you do have smart lock in there, which are basically trusted Bluetooth devices if you had some security enabled. So you guys are familiar with most of this, so I'm not going to bore you too much with it, but I did want to show you those motion launch gestures. So the Nexus 9, if you guys are familiar with, does have double tap to wake. The Nexus 6 doesn't. Um, 
There's reports out there that Google turned it off purposely on the Nexus 6. All we know is it's not on, uh, but the Nexus 9 does have it. This phone also has it, so a little double tap there will wake it up. You can't double tap to make it go back to sleep, but that does at least the wake does avoid you having to jump up top to that top lock button, which are so odd now. Almost every phone has a lock button on the side except for this phone. Um, so you do have that. You have double tap to wake, and it works.